In this video, I'll be demonstrating the process of picking a bacterial colony from a cultured microbiome and then using that picked colony to perform PCR for the ribosomal RNA gene um, to uh, amplify that, that DNA um, so that we could then subsequently perform uh, Sanger sequencing on it. Um, this video will be just about picking the colony and preparing it for PCR. In a subsequent video, I'll show the electrophoresis process. This process is, um, it's necessary to perform this process using aseptic techniques. So your instructor should have provided you with sterile uh, microfuge tubes, one and a half mil sterile microfuge tubes with snap lid caps, um, also sterile pipette tips, and with sterile molecular grade uh, water uh, that you will measure into each of the tubes that you're going to be uh, putting picked colonies into. So here I'm measuring out 100 microliters of the molecular grade water into individual sterile microfuge tubes. Your instructor will also be providing you with um, a PCR master mix that contains uh, the forward and reverse primers for PCR. These are the primers that are going to be used for amplifying the 16S ribosomal RNA gene. Um, and this master mix will also have, in all likelihood, a loading uh, die. Um, so you'll see in a moment um, that the, the master mix has a color to it. Typically it's a purple color. That, that's going to allow you to see the sample when you put it into the gel. In addition, your instructor will provide you with um, a small tube or a series of small tubes uh, two, millimeter, two milliliter tubes that contain auger, and these are going to be for making stab cultures. Now, concerning the PCR uh, tubes, you're going to want to pipette into each tube of a PCR strip a total of 12 and a half microliters of the master mix containing um, all of the components for the PCR as well as the primers into each one of the tubes. So each tube gets 12.5 microliters. Once you have that ready, then you're going to be ready to uh, pull a sample uh, by touching a uh, bacterial colony from a plate and actually getting that material into your uh, PCR tubes. When you're preparing those PCR tubes, make sure that you're preparing a tube not only for each sample, but also for a negative control. And if your instructor uh, indicates that they want you to do this, a positive control as well. Now you're ready to actually pick your colony. Um, here I have a, an EMB uh, culture, an uh, eosine methylene blue culture. There are definitely colonies on it. I'm going to set a micropipetter for one, sorry, 11.5 microliters, and I'm going to gently touch the surface of the colony that I'm interested in picking, and then stab directly into a two milliliter tube containing uh, auger. Um, this is the stab culture that you're going to establish first. So here I'm stabbing that culture, putting bacteria into the auger in that small tube. Here you see a close-up view of the uh, small two milliliter tube uh, for making the stab cultures. Your instructor will provide you with these tubes. They'll have a barcode on them, um, also a labeling area. You should clearly mark the name of your sample on the tube. And then, um, again, once you gently touch a pipette tip to a colony, 
you're going to go immediately into this auger, as I'm showing here. Just plunge into it once or twice, um, close the tube, and you're done with the stab culture. But don't set down your pipetter. The pipetter now can be used to uh, make a bacterial suspension. Then, without setting down the pipetter, I'm going to go directly into a tube containing the 100 microliters of molecular grade water, and I'm going to pipette up and down to mix bacterial cells into that water, just as I'm doing here. Now you should immediately pull 11 and a half microliters of that bacterial suspension, that mixture of bacteria and molecular grade water. Pull 11 and a half microliters and put it into one of the PCR tubes that's marked for that particular sample. You're going to repeat this process for each of the samples that you're preparing and get them into a PCR strip. Close the caps as you fill each uh, PCR tube and then make sure those tubes are labeled appropriately and then provide that uh, strip of PCR tubes to your instructor. Your instructor will then run those tubes in a PCR machine for 36 cycles as described in the protocol.